Management, and we're working through questions, and we have a series of questions this week that we'll try and answer. Yep, here they are. Thank you for sending them in. Uh, the questions, first one is, what transformation does God want to see from us? What is the timeline that God expects to see this heart transformation occur? How does God feel about us as we journey with him, both in times when we're following his prompts and times when we don't do what we feel he's asking us to do? Does God celebrate our small wins as we learn and grow, or is he not impressed with us unless we're perfect? What would you say to someone who feels disappointed in themselves for not following the Spirit's prompts as frequently as they would like? A lot of information in there, but we'll try and break it down mm -hmm. as we do and go to God's Word. But the first thing we want to address as we thought about this and, and prayed about this is no one is perfect. We talked about that last week. No, not one. So God's love for us is not dependent upon our behavior. Mm -hmm. That's right. The Bible says that uh, while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And uh, God loves us uh, not based on our goodness or our perfection, as this question said, um, based on his love and his character. Yeah. So the second thing is we see a lot of, see this ruler, measuring object lesson in these questions and maybe that's more cultural or what we've been taught than actual scriptural um you are an educator uh, we may we measure <laughs> professional. yeah but we we have a tendency from what we teach our children and our society to measure everything, right? Yeah, we do. That's why we have tests. Oh, which I didn't do well on. Yeah. So God loves Amy more. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Uh, yeah, no, we, we are taught that from the time we're very young to measure. And it comes naturally. We like to yes. measure and compare and um, see, are we the faster runner? Are we better mm -hmm. at um, math than this kid? And yeah, and our, our society, our culture breeds that. It, it encourages mm -hmm. that um, through our educational system, through uh, our workplace, mm -hmm. you name it. Um, it's, it's goal and meet that goal and then you're, yeah, we're, you're measured by um, your abilities. Yeah, and we're not saying goals are wrong, but we're saying a thinking that always measures will lead to maybe moments of feeling good about yourself, but in the long run leads to disappointment, discouragement, and even depression. Mm -hmm. And we have to be very, very careful and understand that Jesus is much more relational because he dealt with the law, the measuring stick on the cross. Okay. So now we're in this love relationship and we don't want to be bound by measuring. Yes. Yeah. And in a relationship, there's a difference. And we talked about this earlier um, between conviction and condemnation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Condemnation is us looking at ourselves, looking at our failures and looking, getting depressed, getting depressed <laughs> looking back, measuring ourselves. Conviction mm -hmm. comes from a relationship where... Yeah, uh, the relationship with God encourages us to move forward to see yes. something maybe that is off and get back on track. Yeah, that's very well said. We, I think condemnation looks back, conviction looks forward. And we need to throw this out. We need to... Oh! I was just really waiting to do that. $1.27 at Walmart. Um, and follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. But, you know, one thing I struggled with in my life is God's not up there looking to get me, but he's up there as my number one cheerleader, as my good father. And I had that explained to me once when I play a sport or my kids play sports, am I measuring what they do right or wrong? Or do I celebrate when they succeed? I'm the number one cheerleader and that's God for us. And if we see him like that, we desire to do better to become more like him mm -hmm. as we look at him and not ourselves. Yeah. Yep. So back to the question, <laughs> spiritual transformation, becoming more like Christ. Uh, yeah. As Dan said, our number one fan encouraging us is, is Christ himself saying, mm -hmm. yeah, I live in you. I, I am the one working in you. Don't look at yourself. Look at me. Mm -hmm. And as we look at him, my second little prop here. <sighs> We're going to soar like the eagles when we rest in Christ. 
and his love and his grace and allow him and his love to propel you to meet all those convictions he brings through the power of his Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, th this is really exciting because I think this is a lot of my journey growing up in the church. And I think that this truth brings me joy. And I pray that it brings you joy as well. Yeah. The joy of the Lord. Yeah, he's the one, the, the wind that we soar on is, is the joy he has in us and the joy that we have in, in walking and soaring with him. Amen. So have a great week. Be encouraged and we'll have more questions next week. Bye-bye.